Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And look how we are starting everything. What map we got? Prokurovka with a Progetto 66. So today we are going to play with this vehicle since I did not notice. Well, I noticed I have only one video with this tank and it was made in the start of 2021. Aka first impression. So I believe it is about the time to go for a part two, right? Um, all in all, I like this tank. I think this vehicle is pretty good. Um, and it is just working for me, if I can say so. Speaking about the gun, I prefer 400 alpha damage gun, 242mm of penetration over 1000 shell velocity, and hits are slower, but they have more penetration. So that is a big benefit for this tank, if I can say so. Obviously, for long range shots, I obviously prefer the ammunition which has faster shell velocity, but for a but for a shots which are relatively close, right, I would say hits are going to work just fine. And to be fair with you, I would say the best combination of the things are whenever you have APCRs as a standard and uh, um, heat as a, let's say, gold ammunition, right? At least that's what I prefer, although this tank is not like this. Anyways. How we are starting our journey, we are starting our journey relatively easily. We are taking the typical position in the middle and we are waiting until enemies will get spotted and believe me, they will. It's just simply a matter of the time. Speaking, speaking about the matter of the time, I really want to spank the defender in the side. Too bad I failed. Hmm. Okay. We know Arta is sitting over there. Hmm. Now to blind fire Arta, this is quite a big, uh, quite a big deal for us. Although I will try to do everything what I physically and possibly can. Meanwhile, Sue is getting spotted. He's in the open field. Let's take our time to aim. That's first shot for the team. Beautiful. That is second shot for the team. This should be a diary hit. Nice. Now, what is the weakness of Italian tanks? I really want to highlight this. The thing is, the biggest problem of Italian tanks is the PM. Whenever you are, especially whenever you are unloading completely, then you are feeling like a bloody uh, tier 7 tank against the tier 10 tanks. I, this is how it feels like and I truly mean it. So, if you know you are not going to do anything in the next couple of, um, in the next, let's say, 30 seconds, obviously you can fully unload and then everything is going to be fine. But if you think you are going to do something or you might get rushed by the enemies, do not do what I have done now to fully unload. It's just simply not worth it. You are losing a lot of DPM and it is not going to be a good stuff, right? It's just information for you how the things are looking like with this vehicle. Meanwhile, we are feeling great. We know we are not going to have shots anytime soon. And we are simply waiting until enemies will get spotted here. And yes, they will. Beautiful shot to the side. Do I want to finish him off? Eh, let's do this. He is dead. Excellent. 1.8 thousand damage so far. Uh, and you know what? Our team is definitely not winning this battle, which is not necessarily bad to be fair with you. It could bring a lot of a lot of use for us. We have one in the magazine and we are patiently waiting until we will have a chance to spank someone who will try to be aggressive. And as you can see, enemy Kapazander is definitely aggressive. I kind of want to fully load this time and next time I won't... Uh, I will try not to fully unload if I can say so. Hmm. Let me think. How we can make it work? What is the chance enemy Su is sitting over there? What do you think? Let's try this. Definitely he isn't sitting here. Okay. That means after 10 seconds we are going to try once again. But we are going to try to hit the lower bush for obvious reasons. <laughs> Unlucky, my man. Unlucky. Not your lucky day, buddy. Okay. At this point, we need to escape. Or we need to try to escape. 
what is the position where I want to play? Obviously, looking what enemies are doing, they are going to go like this. So I would love to take bush here. And if I am going to take the bush here, I believe we are going to be able to outspot enemies speaking like this. And then we can shoot them as well. And this is very, very important thing to say. So, at this point, we are relaxing, we are chilling, and we are just enjoying ourselves. Meanwhile, there is a Škoda in the middle, obviously nothing what we can change about that, and wait for it. Simply wait for it. Oh, Progetto sitting in the middle, good. Although Progetto is capable of outspotting us, this is not what I am looking for. Hmm. Very interesting. I could hit him into Cupola, do I want to even try? Do I want to even try? Wow, Arta with a keyboard, impressive. Impressive, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Arta with a keyboard. This is a rare feature um, nowadays in the world of tanks, you know? This is a rare feature. Meanwhile, I need to be patient. Beautiful side shot. Very, very nice. Even though if we are not going to win this game, we will make enemies sweat for their performance and for their damage. This is our goal, to be fair with you. Mm -hmm. Progetto is sitting here in the corner. This is this is very, very bad thing. Now this Progetto is going to be extremely annoying. And only one thing what I could do is to try to find a decent angle towards the Progetto, right? That's what I am looking for. Very, very hard start, but those games are happening as well. You cannot expect to win every single time and to beat everyone um, whenever they are, whenever you are playing in Prokurovka. It doesn't work this way, unfortunately. And I love this map. I love this map with a heavy tank. I love this map with a light tank. I love this map with, uh, with whatever else, you know? I can appreciate this map for sure. Meanwhile, Kapaze is sitting here. Not exactly what I want to see, but that's what we have. Three seconds left, two seconds left, one second left. Unfortunately, I cannot hit him. Progetto is in the back. Light tank is sitting here as well. Oi, 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 oi. Crossfire, 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 crossfire. Not exactly what I want to see. Listen, I know that Kapaze will hit me sideways. I am aware of that. I need to finish this guy off. This is very important thing to say. Ooh, wrong fix, wrong fix, wrong fix. It's okay. I deserve this. So, listen. This is not a bad play by any shape or any form. We have 6,000 and 6,000 in my book is good. Uh, but... I really need to highlight one thing, enemy team played better and they deserve the victory. So better luck next time, but all in all, I am very, very happy with the first game um, of the session. Let's see the score. And we are back. Looks like we have a couple of the blind shots, which is always welcome and always nice. 3.8 thousand damage, 3 thousand assisting damage. Great game, honestly. I'm super happy about this. Kudos to enemy light tank, 5 thousand assisting damage. Great play. Um, we made 25,000 profits, we hit pretty much all of our shots, although we did not penetrate all of them. Um, once again, all in all, I am feeling happy with this performance. Unfortunately, we did not manage it to win, but it is changing absolutely nothing. Still great score. Let's go for round number two. Round number two. Ooh, okay. What do we have? We have quite a hard game, I would say. I'm too afraid to move here for obvious reasons and the main reason why am I saying so boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, is it's just simply not really worth it. When there is two Jeffs in the game, you know how the things can end. A bum and you are done, GG, finito, you are crying in the corner. This is not what I'm looking for. I would rather try to do something different and I would tra rather try to punish enemies uh, for their stupidity instead of getting punished myself. Oh, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard, fellas. That's how I feel like. We are only two in this side. Mm -hmm. And there is two artists. Well, if we are going to make a nice crossfire, I believe everything is going to be fine. I believe we are going to be fine, fellas. So, all in all, we are in position where we want to play. Hopefully, I wasn't spotted while getting here. Now, we are going to go up just like so. 
And now we are going to farm a bit of assisting damage if possible, right? That's what I want to see. At this point, we are chilling. Wow. Okay, pay attention at this. Looks like enemies decided not to take the upper side here. Quite weird decision, but I can understand why. Once again, uh, two Arthas get spotted and... You know? This is no bueno. Mm -hmm. This is no bueno. Okay, at this point we just need to be patient. There is no other way around it. Um, I cannot get involved. Our team is not winning the game yet as well. So we need to be very, very patient and we need to wait until enemies will mess up. This position is extremely powerful. If you are following the extra channel, yes, we have another channel. Um, you know that very, very well. Um, we played with T25 AT and we abused this position to the maximum and that worked just fine. So uh, we will attempt to do the same thing with this vehicle that's what we are trying to do nice shot beautiful this is exactly what i was looking for and this is what we want to see soon i'm going to get unspotted and whenever i am going to get unspotted we are going to try to spank him once again patience we have all time in the world of tanks fellas Understood. Side, maybe. Bam. Definitely. I mean, he is showing side of the turret. I do not have any other option just to spank him. The worst part of all this, we are we are getting farmed here. The score is 2 to 8. I think it is already game over for our team over there. Which is sad, but in the same time, I know we cannot change absolutely anything about this. This is just simply game over. We are going for another one and one more for sake of love. Unfortunately, this is this is the bounce in the side, but it is how it is. Oi, 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 oi. Fellas, looks like we are going to be two left in this game. I have a feeling. I have a feeling we are going to have two survivors in this game. And that will be me and this was Zap. Uh, it is not that easy to penetrate this gentleman, unfortunately. I am waiting until he is going to make a bad angle for us, right? And then we are going to spank him. It is such a hard shot. It is honestly such a hard shot. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. We are just simply waiting until he will mess up. I see the board in the back, but at this kind of situation, uh, I mean, there is nothing what we can change about this. Meanwhile, I can see Progetto sitting here. That's okay. Let's try to spank him. Progetto took one for the team. He is going for seconds and he is officially dead. Nice. Okay, at least that is something. Look, I do not try to hide games like this. Games like this happens. And I would love to say we could do something about this. I would love to say, oh yeah, fellas, so if we would do that and that and that and that, the situation would be completely different. No, it's not, okay? It doesn't really matter what we would do in this game. The situation would be still the same and this is a game over. It doesn't really matter what I'm going to do. So, it is okay. Uh, considering we had the two guns sitting in this side, I would say the score is, well, expectable whenever uh, the one, two, three line is uh, uh, failing, right? It is okay. You cannot dodge those games. I cannot dodge those games. And I'm not trying to and I'm not uh, crying about that. I am already used and uh, for this. And whenever the game is making a decision, it's 5 to 15, you can simply bend over. And that is okay. So, all in all, we have only 1.9 thousand damage. And looking into all of this, fellas, we are second by experience and we are third by by the damage everything is fine was uh, we did as much as we could do in this game and sometimes you cannot win them all and that's fine we broke even with the credits as well good let's go for round number three and let's expect a better score i guess for a third game boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we are getting uh, a pretty nice situation for ourselves 
What do I mean by saying this is this is a winning spawn of the Red Shire, right? It is extremely hard to defend from this situation. So all we need to do, we need to take this position here and we are going to farm a lot of a lot of forces. So this is very, very good matchmaking for us. And this is very good situation. Now, obviously, a lot of things are depending on how enemies are going to play this game and how many mistakes they are going to do for obvious reasons, right? So all we need to do here is we need to farm this poor soul just like so. He made a big, big, big mistake by trying to be involved and obviously he is out of the game already. Could he do something differently? Well, to be fair with you, um, you know... This is this is the map where you simply cannot be too aggressive. You just simply can't, you know. You can do many, many things. And most of those things are, um, well, you can't cry, you know. That's how I feel like in this map. So please keep this in mind. I am, I am for example, quite sad whenever I am getting spawned in the defender side because it is extremely hard to defend the uh, base. It is maybe even close to impossible to do so. And this is very important thing to highlight, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice blind shot from this gentleman. Solid one. Solid blind shot from this. Hmm. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Interesting. Okay, we are getting a bit of assisting damage from this gentleman. Can we go for seconds? This is the question. And Wait a second. Am I all the time spotted or what? What is the chance I am all the time spotted, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? This is the question which I have now. Hmm. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I would say enemy team is doomed in this kind of situation. They are, it's GG. I would say our team is going to win this by making pressure in front. Maybe I could get extra clip here, but I decided not to. And instead of fighting against those gentlemen here, all we need to do, we need to make pressure like this, right? And after that, we have um, unlimited farm to everyone who is trying to defend this side. Once again, I truly want to highlight this, fellas. The defending spawn is bad. I said that in the very first day whenever we're gaming released this map and I said defending spawn is just simply kaku. Um, so yeah, this is very important thing to say and uh, from what I hear and from what I've seen, it looks like they are going to do some changes for this. So fingers crossed the changes um, will be a bit more balanced. And let's hope the changes won't make the defending spawn a winning spawn in a way, right? Let's hope for the best. Okay, so... All we need to do at this point, at this point we need to have a crossfire against the gentlemen who are playing here that's all we need to do obviously enemy team is not feeling great here you can say whatever you want they are not feeling fine we can spank them every single time whenever they are going to do something uh, silly in this situation right and we will make sure to spank them every single time i mean look at this uh, situation they had no chance to do absolutely anything for us. And we are just playing the farming simulator in 2022 in this kind of situation, right? It is kind of similar to the previous game. In the previous game, we lost 15 to 5, right? And in this game, we are winning 15 to 5 more likely, right? Once again, enemies had no chance. There is nothing shameful about losing this battle like they did. It's just, it is not their fault. It is the fault of the, of the map itself, right? And we need to highlight this. And I know a lot of people are raging on the teams. It is impossible to do anything. You know, it is not about the team as strong as it sounds. It is about the map in this kind of situation. So, extremely easy victory. 
nothing unusual i would say we did everything properly and i think everything um paid off for us so what do we have we have 3.2 thousand visible damage probably we do not have any uh blinds we have over 2000 assisting damage which is absolutely amazing and it is great and i would say this game was a solid banana out of 10 very very nice funny fact i have approximately 24 minutes of the raw footage so probably you will see approximately 22 minutes or so three games fellas crazy how fast things are going nowadays anyways looking into all of this beautiful game we are third by experience we are second by the damage i'm feeling great is it ducky no it's not ducky i know i know this gentleman is playing with this tank now to market so i thought maybe anyways thirty-eight thousand credits which is very good considering what kind of map we had and how uh, uh, how fast everything went beautiful 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 game overall so all in all, after three battles with this vehicle, we managed to finish everything with a 3,000 average damage. Unfortunately, only, um, only one victory, but 1.8 thousand assisting damage. So we have pretty much... 4.9 thousand combined it not a bad score i think everything went well and i am feeling pretty happy with all of this so thank you very much for watching fellas i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today and uh, tomorrow i will surprise you with something new as usual thank you and see you very very soon skill is out peace